Hello all, welcome to part two of API testing training series. In this session, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to download, how to install, and how to register Postman tool, which is an API testing tool, which is one of the API testing tools, guys. Okay, let me explain more about that. So, how to download, how to install, and how to register this Postman tool. In the previous session, okay, I explained what exactly is an API. Okay, without having this basic knowledge, I don't want you guys to directly start downloading, installing, and registering Postman tool. Okay, I'm expecting that you have watched the previous video before coming here where I'm going to practically demonstrate how to download, install, and register the Postman tool for API testing purpose, okay? So in the next session, I'm going to explain about API testing in detail, it's a practical example and all. But for now, let's get started by installing this one of the API testing tools known as Postman tool, okay? Without this tool, we cannot proceed for API testing. I cannot explain what is API test, fine? So as I mentioned already, Postman is a widely used tool for API testing. That means it is one of the guys, okay? Postman is one of the widely used tools for API testing. That means there are many tools available in the market which can be used for performing the API testing. Two examples are Postman, okay? Which is a widely used, okay? The top one is Postman, guys. Most of the people in the market use Postman. Then we have Catalon Studio, Swagger, Jmeter also can be used for as a tool for uh, performing the API testing. We have SOAP UI tool for performing API testing and many more, okay? So there are many tools in the market which can be used for performing the API testing. Postman is a, the number one or most people in the market use Postman, which is free guys, which is uh, free, okay? You don't have to pay any license amount in order to use a Postman tool, which is uh, which comes for free, okay? So, but, but the thing is, in order to download, install and register Postman tool, there is a confusion that is, there are different ways of installing it, okay? Postman is providing different ways of downloading, installing, and registering this tool, okay? What are the different ways we have? We can get this Postman tool in the form of a Chrome extension, Chrome browser extension. Suppose if I open this Chrome browser and if I search for Postman, okay, Chrome extension, if I search like this, in the search results, I'll get this Postman from Chrome extension web store, okay? Chrome extensions web store, you'll be taken here and uh, you can install. You see, uh, you can actually, uh, uh, here you'll get install guys. Uh, we are getting launched because I have already installed in my browser, okay? So if I go to uh, Chrome colon double slash apps, you see Postman is already there. Uh, if I want to remove this, okay? Let's say I will remove this from Chrome. If I don't have this Postman uh, tool or Chrome extension installed in my browser, if I search for Postman Chrome extension here, the search results, if I click on this link for uh, Chrome Google Web Store for Postman, then you will get an option to install this time. You see, earlier you got the launch, and now it's saying add to Chrome. You have to say add to Chrome. In a while, this Chrome extension will be added to your Chrome browser, okay? So add to Chrome, did it add? It is taking some time, it seems, or, okay, so let me do it again, add app. Yeah, it's it's doing it now. So fine, you see, Postman got added, added but I will remove it, guys, okay? I'm, I don't want Chrome extension. I will tell you the reasons, okay? I don't want to use Postman in the form of a Chrome extension. So Postman is, Postman tool is available to get downloaded, installed, and registered in different ways. Uh, that is one of the ways Chrome extension. I showed you how to get the Chrome extension for, for Postman, but I don't want to use Chrome extension of Postman, okay? So you can you can practice uh, this Postman tool API testing with the help of Chrome extension, guys, but I don't recommend at this point of time, okay? So there is a better way of, uh, you know, right, uh, downloading the Postman, so I don't want to use Chrome extension. We have a web version also and a desktop version also. So from where we can get the web version or desktop version, just open Google, okay? Just go to Google Chrome, uh, sorry, just go to Google and search for download Postman. Two terms, that's it, okay? Don't say Chrome extension and all. Simply say download Postman. You will be taken to Postman download. Uh, you, you'll get the search results like this, Postman downloads page. Click on that link. And here you see download Postman. One is a desktop version. This Windows 64 bit. You can download this and install EXE file in your machine or you can try this web version. 
the best one is this desktop version guys okay uh, the one we are going to use for practicing the api testing in the coming sessions uh, using the postman is the desktop version of the postman okay i don't want to use a chrome extension i removed it before you web version also i don't want to use i want to use the desktop version because it comes with a lot of features and also uh, it's a you know right uh, accessibility wise and everything wise it's better okay desktop version is the best one guys okay desktop version is the best one of uh, downloading installing and restoring the postman so i'll go with the desktop version guys since i already got to this page postman.com uh, slash downloads page when i google search for postman download i'll click on windows 64 bit button you see here postman windows 64 exe file is getting downloaded okay let's wait for the download to finish up so it won't take much time guys okay it's just a matter of seconds once the postman uh, this uh, download version is available that is downloaded then we are going to install it okay then we are going to install it after installing we are going to register and after registering we are going to log in okay using our gmail address or whatever it is we can log in okay so downloading installing and using postman uh, how to use postman i'll explain here okay uh, how to perform api testing using postman i'll explain here but uh, downloading and installing i'll cover in this session guys okay using part i'll may not cover so i'll change it a bit downloading and installing postman tool okay downloading and installing postman tool that's it okay so we'll go deep into the postman tool not now when the time comes okay when the time comes where I, where we have to explore the explore the different features of the postman tool i'll 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 showcase the different features of the Postman tool. For now, we just have to download, install, and register into the Postman tool. Okay. So let's see whether the down uh, downloading of the exe file has been done or not. Yes, it's, it's completed. Let's go to the location where it got downloaded. My downloads folder. I'll double click this exe file. Okay. I have double click on the exe file. You should get the installation wizard for installing this Postman tool, which is a desktop version. We are going to install in my Windows machine. My my operating system is Windows 11. You can install even on windows 10 and all okay it supports but i am using the latest version of the windows that's fine you can use anything else okay that's not installing you see we got the installation wizard where it is installing the postman tool in my machine let's wait for the installation to complete okay it's launching it seems a white screen has come on my page uh, this icon is selected still in selected mode and uh, you see i'm i'm getting a white screen this is the white screen I'm getting for now. Uh, slowly, I got some options like home, workspaces, explore, create account, okay, sign in option is coming, collections. This is a lot of features are there in the postman, guys. Let's not worry about the features now, okay. For, uh, for now, I just want to show how to download, install, and register into the postman, okay. So if you don't have an account with uh, postman, right, you can say create account, guys, okay. Click on create account, you'll be taken to the screen uh it will take you to the web uh, website okay website page okay when you click on uh, uh, register here you see sign up here uh, it's it's opening this url page so where you have to give your email address username password and click on create free account or sign in with google account okay anything is fine you can sign in with google account or you can create a, your own uh, email account and then you can sign up so i don't i don't want to show you the sign up process because everyone knows how to sign up right you just have to give your email address a username password and sign up right or you can use your gmail gmail address whatever the personal gmail address you have right uh, you can sign up with that gmail and its gmail password also okay because you know your gmail password so you can either sign up this is the easiest way okay so so what i'm going to do now is what i'm going to do now is uh, i'll go back to the postman already have registered guys okay i don't have to register before you okay already have registered uh, with postman so it's taking some time to load here let's here and there let's see these options are coming very slow that's okay i'll click on sign in directly guys because already account is created okay for me account is already there guys okay again it is taking me to the web page uh, where where it's not asking me to sign up rather it is asking me to sign in okay uh, so i'll try different things i'll give my email address and see whether i am able to sign in So I just think that whatever the password I gave is, uh, okay, right. Let's see. If not, I'll give, I'll try another password. It's great to have you on board. That means whatever the password and your email address I gave is the uh, right one. So open postman. Okay. Now after authentication, open postman. 
say okay no problem you say it will open here only guys okay uh, so it's saying open postman in the browser it's actually opening the postman here let's wait the options will appear somehow the screen is blank uh, the loading the, uh, the postman is loading bit slow guys okay the postman is loading bit slow let's wait for the blank uh, blank uh, area to display some options here generally it doesn't happen guys okay if it happens uh, let's wait for that okay it's not a big deal you see i got uh, you see signed in okay you see with my name i got signed in if i want to sign out i can sign out from here okay this is a way to this is a way to download install and uh, register postman guys okay if you have registered you can log in into the postman right if you already registered you can log in i, I showed you how to sign into the postman also so i can write here downloading installing uh, registering and after registering we are logging logging in login and login to okay otherwise i'll say login to okay login to postman tool downloading installing registering and login to postman tool okay these are the steps downloading installing and login to postman tool so for now only downloading installing registering and login to postman tool so this much you you also be ready guys okay uh, before the next session where i am going to explain how to use this postman tool perform for performing the api testing in with an example right uh, you should be ready with this tool okay you should be ready with downloading installing registering and logging to the postman tool as i showed you in this session okay so if you don't have an account create an account and then sign in okay and you should be here like this okay good evening arun motori it is saying if it is morning for you it will say good morning anyhow okay so Hope guys, you understood how to download, install, register, and log into the Postman tool in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I am going to, as I already mentioned, I am going to teach you or show you practically with an example how to perform API testing. So thank you. See you in the next session. Bye.